Okay, uh, this is going to be a quick look at some ambient light or ceiling light rejection, uh, projection screen material. I say that this is probably less ambient light and more on the ceiling light because this particular one that we're looking at today uses uh, PET crystal uh, technology to reject overhead light. Um, and what that means, and I'm no expert on this by any means, but my understanding of it is that the PET crystal actually means that they have individual lines, um, horizontal lines running across um, the material. And you can see it right below, uh, hang on, you can see it really right below the, the tape there. You can see those lines. Um, and each one of those lines uh, does have a proper orientation such that light coming from the top uh, gets rejected, but light coming from the bottom catches the underside of one of those lines, those ridges, uh, and should send it back to, uh, to you uh, watching on your couch. So these screens are supposed to be really fantastic for um, ultra short throw projectors. Uh, not so much short throw, uh, not even regular projectors, really just the ultra short because they're going to shoot light from directly from the bottom up, hit those ridges and uh, bounce it back to you. So this is a sample of uh, some screen material that I got from a company called XY Screens. Um, they sell online and reached out to them, asked for a quick sample. They sent this over. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, later on uh, put this up on the wall and test it with a projector. But firsthand, I wanted to just kind of take a quick look and share some of these observations with you. So um, kind of first, just a general about the material is that it's, it's kind of stiff. I mean, not super stiff, but if you're stretching this over like a wood canvas, I think um, it could be a little tricky. Uh, if you order it from them, they give you like a whole frame and a whole kit. So that's probably not that big of a deal. Um, but if you're trying to do it, uh, do a DIY or DIY, um, you might have a little bit of trouble with that. Uh, but let's take a look actually at how well it does uh, with light. So the room I'm in right now has some overhead lights on it. Um, and I've got a flashlight, so we're gonna just test a couple different things. Again, not super scientific, just um, you know, me giving it a shot right here. So um, here's the light. You can see I'm shining about a 45 degree angle. Um, you can see it just kind of skittering across the surface. And if we come at it from the other side, you can see that uh, it does a pretty good job of uh, diffusing it pretty quickly. You can see I'm not even too far away from it. And then again, we come back to this side. We got much brighter, much better dispersed uh, light effect uh, from the side, from the side. This isn't a great uh, flashlight, so some of it is probably the flashlight being horrible, but just going up and down across it, you can see. Doesn't really want to show too much of the light from the top side, though some of it still makes it, but definitely nothing quite like what you're seeing uh, from the bottom. Anyway, so that's a quick flashlight test. Um, this sample that did come in uh, does have some kind of wrinkles to it. You can see, just kind of go down the length of this, there's some wobbles. Probably again, just because it's a small piece rolled. Um, can see a little bit of that big horizontal striping through the whole thing. Um, right there, and again right there. Uh, it's, you get visible in person too. It's not just getting picked up on the camera. Yeah, I can see it with the the naked eye as well. Um, although I, you know, it probably won't have too much of an effect once uh, an image is being projected onto it. But I'll take a look at that in a minute as well when we get it up on the wall. Cool. So let's uh, let's go put it up on the wall. See how it does there. 
Okay, I'm back. I got the screen up on the wall. Um, you can see from the shadow, a little light behind me, um, but already pretty excited to see how this works. Got my flashlight back with me, uh, and you can see just that quick test off the wall, you know, working as you would expect, kicking that light back. And then if I climb up a little bit, See if I can get this. Okay, so we got light coming down from the top again. You can see that immediate uh, reduction in light. Okay, but let's do the, the fun test. Okay, let's get this uh, guy going. And let's see. That blue is coming up weird, but that, oh, let's see. okay. So this is kind of normal viewing in the house when you know it's we got natural light kind of kicking in from the sides and uh, but you can see yeah it looks pretty good a little extra extra oomph to the colors Okay, but that's that's normal, nice stuff of having having a screen. So I have some lights up right above. And let's see how those go when we turn those on. And yeah, we got some super washed out right above it. I mean, given it wasn't perfect before, but we're getting still a really nice image. Kind of wish I'd put that screen a couple inches higher. So it'd be right over one of those tiles. But that's that's pretty good. So let's uh, kill that light again. Yeah, very little difference. Um, that light is not having much of an impact on that screen, which is cool. So, there you have it. It's the PET. Oh, let's focus. There it is. It's that PET Crystal, PET Crystal from XY Screens. Pretty good. Okay, back recording one more little bit I wanted to add into this because I remembered that my overheads are on a dimmer. Um, so I wanted to show a couple different intensities of how it works. So there they are at the lowest setting. Actually, let's do it like this. So we'll go from the lowest setting on off, off, on, and then we'll go about halfway on the dimmer, off, on. All the way up so it's a it's full setting now yep 
Yeah. And again, still we're, you know, midday, near bright open windows. So all in all, pretty impressive screen. I just wanted to show it again with the dimmers on high. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, makes, does as advertised, works pretty well. So, all right.